Jordan 4, Military Blue Pickup Vlog. First stop, Greenwood, Indiana. Let's hope my pair didn't get back doored. But we're about to figure out in about five seconds as we walk in here, and hopefully they let me use that $20 coupon. But let me know so far if you hit today and how many pairs you actually secured. These weren't as easy as I thought. I took an L on sneakers. But hey, good old trusty JD Sports of Finish Line got me covered. Let's go check these out. First pickup, JD, nice and easy. They even let me use the $20 coupon. I'm so happy. Now I gotta go in Foot Locker. I never hit Foot Locker, but I can't leave it sitting on the table simply because I hit it. I know I won't get discounts, but you know what? It's a size 12. It'll sell. I'm not worried. And if it doesn't sell, I'll hold on to it till Christmas time or maybe give it away and kicked. Who knows? We're gonna see. All right, Greenwood was a success. Foot Locker was good, but check this out. This is in the Greenwood Park Mall parking lot. Check this out. We had a whole bounce house thing over here, man. If I wasn't hurrying downtown, I'd go jump on that for the vlog for sure. I mean, it looks like a blast. Playing good music, it's a Saturday, boys and girls. It feels great. There's no better feeling than having a pickup vlog. But anyways, we gotta get downtown, let's go. All right, finish line downtown, easy. I'm telling you, man, this place is looking like a whole ghost town. It's a Saturday at like one o'clock and there's no one in here and like every single store is gone. It's getting bad down here. I don't know what they're gonna do with this mall, but if you come to Indianapolis, do not go to the Circle Center Mall if it's your first time visiting. Go to like Greenwood or Castleton or maybe the Keystone Mall because man, it, it is tough out here right now. But anyways, we're gonna go home. We got these. Maybe we should do a little coffee stop. I think we need a little bit of coffee. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop down the road real quick. We went with Tinker Coffee today. I usually go to Commissary, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to a different one. So we went here. It's connected to the 360 Marketplace building. If you know where that is in Indianapolis, try it out. Really, really good, smooth coffee. I already had a coffee today, but it's Saturday. So we can live a little on edge, right? Two coffees, nothing wrong with it. So we're gonna enjoy this. We're gonna go back home. We're gonna talk about what's going on with the market, what's happening with these Jordan 4s. Uh, so I'll see you back at home. And so we made it back home. That's right. We went all over the place. We went to Greenwood Park Mall. We went to a downtown Circle Center. That place is an absolute ghost town. Now, the question is this. Did I make a mistake buying all these Jordan 4 Military Blues? I personally don't think there's a mistake at all made here. I think GS, a little iffy. GS, I plan to buy and hold all the way until Christmas time, just like my bread 4s I have in my closet over there. Why am I doing this? Because I know come holiday season, people will want these. They're great Christmas gifts. They really are. Now the men's pairs. The market is a little bit different than I expected. I thought right after the release, they would shoot up. They obviously haven't, but I have been seeing people do super, super well in their local markets. Now StockX, I would stay away from. If you're making sales, please stay away from StockX because you're gonna lose a lot of money. But I will be the first one to admit, I thought the market was gonna go a little bit higher than what it has already. I thought we'd see 270, 280, give or take today with the FOMO buy-in. Now you may be wondering, how can I tap into my local markets? Well, Facebook Marketplace is the best way to do this. When I first started, Facebook was the best place ever. They gave me clients when I didn't have the clientele, and I've met some really, really cool people through it. You can go ahead and list up on Facebook in your local area. I typically start with my sales high, like my ask, very high, because they're gonna lowball you hard. Welcome to Facebook, welcome to any marketplace. But you don't pay fees and you make a connection. There's nothing better than that human connection, I'm telling you. We lose that with using the online platforms. I feel like a lot of people are scared to talk to people anymore and it's great. Like That's how I meet some really cool people in the city. So go make that human connection. Now, if you're scared to meet up with people, tell them to go to a police station. If they're scared of the police station, then you may lose a sale. I usually don't go to police stations, but I'll go to places like Costco, Whole Foods, Kroger, all the places that have a lot of foot traffic and cameras everywhere. That is a good place to be. Don't go some alley. Yo, yo, meet me in the alley or meet me over here because people will that, that's that's just a recipe for disaster, right? And when you're giving them the shoe, only hand them one. Don't give them the whole box until they pay you. So let them see the shoe. You can see it now. They're like, oh, let me see the other one. Then, okay, open the box up, open them up, show them, kind of show them that they are both there. You can see it just like that, and then you're good to go. Now, don't hand them the shoe until they've actually paid. I use Venmo and Cash App. When I do use this, I have it transferred to my bank before I give them possession. That's how I know it's coming to me. That's how I know it's locked in. PayPal goods and service is absolute nightmare. People can charge back on that, and sometimes they will hold on to your money. So... PayPal is a no-go for me, and then really cash is, cash is a great thing to have, but not a lot of people carry cash anymore. With that being said, I wouldn't lose a sale just because there's no cash. If you are picking up cash from people, make sure you inspect the bills. Some people are shady out there. For me, I haven't had this issue yet, but if you want to take a marker, you can do it. You can usually tell when there's fake bills as well. You can just tell by the way they actually feel uh, compared to real money. Now, those are worst-case scenarios.
videos of people giving you fakes, running off with your shoes. Facebook Marketplace has been amazing for me. Make that connection. I'm gonna go ahead and list mine up. If you don't know how to use Facebook Marketplace, let me know down below. I'll try to help. We also have a full guide within Kick that walks you through it. I'm in a full video in Kick so you can follow step by step everything you need to do. One thing I do recommend, have really good pictures of your products. Don't take pictures and it's all blurry, all like this. Oh yeah, here's my shoe. Make sure the product looks really good. That will make your sales increase. Get good lighting. Use lights. It works wonders. Don't be the worst looking quality photo on there because you're going to be the last one to be picked to make that sale. Now, if you still have L's, there's a couple places you can go to. DTLR, 3 p.m. Hope this video goes out by then. 3 p.m. They're doing leftovers. JD Sports Finish Line, 5 p.m. FLX, 5 p.m. towards close. That's usually when they give out. I know stores have pairs, so go in and ask. If you're taking an L, don't pay resale yet. Try to grab them. Like I said, I'm trying to help everybody get these for retail. I still think these are an amazing buy. People want them. Like I said, I'm going to list mine up on Marketplace. I'm going to get them going. And if you say you don't want to go in store to hit these restocks, hit it. We'll be restocking between now and probably all the way to next week, next week, next week. They will be restocking nonstop. Make sure you know the HIPAA method. If you need help with that, there's some links down below. Kick has you covered. We will show you how it's done. Step by step and it works. There's an extra step to the HIPAA method now, but it still works. That's how I hit another size 12 online today. But guys, that's it for today's video. If you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It does mean a lot. I hope you did enjoy it. This week was a lot of fun. Congrats to everybody that got these for retail and I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.